In this video I'm going to show you how to remove the infrared filter from the Samsung SCC A2333 which is the same as the SCB4000 and in the front there you can see the, uh, the infrared filter I'm talking about in its little frame and uh, just to show it, it's the SCC A2333 I'm using and that black box on the side ignore that that's for my remote control Okay, we start with removing the cover screws. There's two on the top there. And if you turn it over, there's one more underneath. And you can see it just there. Slide the cover off once you've got those screws out. And you'll see at the front, there's three screws holding in that circuit board. We want to remove those three screws, like that. And if you turn it around to the front, there's a big black ring around the front there and you'll see a screw in the side just take that screw out yep that one take that screw out and uh, that'll allow you to turn that ring now what you're going to do is you're going to undo it turn it like you're undoing it turn it about oh, six or seven times it won't come off what it's doing is releasing the inside circuit board so you can get at it. Okay, so once you've undone that, that's the circuit board that has to come out. So you can grab the wires on the other side and pull it out. Yeah, this is a bit awkward one-handed because I'm holding the, the camera for the other hand, so just bear with me while I struggle to get it out. You can use two hands. And there you can see the filter covering the chip. Okay. And what you got there, that's the back of the circuit board. Now you'll see there's a screw in each corner. Uh, two corners, sorry. No, that's not the screw. That's the screw there. That's one of them. And diagonally in the other corner, that one there. Take those two screws out, and what that does, that releases the whole front of it, off the circuit board. Now, one more screw there, see there where my finger's pointing, that one's got to come out, which allows you to lift this cover off, and there's the filter in its little window, and the steel rods that it slides upon. That's what we've got to get out. Okay, now with long nose pliers, grab the little steel rod, push it down that way, that's it, slide it out that way, all the way out, that's it. Now the other one goes out the other direction, so slide it out all the way, and once they're out, you can take the filter out. Don't worry about getting your fingerprints all over it like I did, because you're not going to use it anymore anyway. So just lift it out, and that's it. The filter is now out. Ta da! So put the cover back down over. Oh, put that little cover back on first. Make sure to put that screw in. Very important. Now you can put that back onto the circuit board. Put those two diagonal screws back in, in the corners. Once you've done that, pop the whole thing back into the front of the camera frame. And once you get it in far enough, you'll see that you can screw the black ring up again and that'll pull that whole assembly up into the front of the camera body. That's it, just keep turning, you'll, you'll feel it get tight. Okay, now put the lock screw back in so the ring doesn't turn. That one there, yep, do that one up. One more thing to go and that is slide the cover back on. 
Oh, no, we're still going. That's right, I've got to put these three screws back in. The ones with the springs on them. That holds the circuit board in. Once we've tightened those three back up again, then we only have one thing to go. And that is, slide the cover back on and do it up. Job done. There you go. The chip without a filter.